Hi, I'm Daniel and I'm up here on my terrace. It's uh, really beautiful because the sun is just setting over there. Um, actually, let me just show you how beautiful it actually is. See? See? Sun's setting over there. And yeah. It's about it, people. Walking to the weekly market. And uh, there's clear skies, really. No clouds at all. It's, be it's beautiful. You wouldn't believe it, but a couple of. Sorry, actually, not even a couple of years, but almost a, less than a decade back, this entire area was empty. There was nothing other than our house here and uh, that house over there is just agriculture or fields and <laughs> you know, it's kind of sad to see all these houses because well they you know birds and all stop coming here and uh, I miss that actually just a few minutes back there was a group of really cool birds over there I'll show you a picture of that um, and so no I'm not here to shoot the sunset I'm here to do something entirely different I'll come to that all right so well we've established that it's really beautiful uh, the hills are actually right behind uh, the camera uh, anyway have you ever come across a photograph where um, you've seen the same person in the same photograph multiple times and then you've thought man that's really cool how how have they done that can I do it well let me tell you you can it's and the best part is it's really really easy to do that uh, it's called multiplicity. Yeah, that's multiplicity. Yeah, it's, that's what it's called, and uh, it's pretty easy, but it's super, super cool. And uh, well, I'm going to show you how to do that today. A few days back, I uploaded, uh, I think a few weeks probably, I uploaded a photograph of myself uh, using the same technique on Facebook, and many people asked me how I had done that. So, well, I'm going to show you in this tutorial. So, I'd uh, taken that picture on the terrace, so I think I'll just uh, take another one. On the terrace itself just to make it easier for people to understand so what what do you need for that basically you just need three things first you need your camera then you need a tripod and then you need a subject and what better subject and what better subject than you yourself what subject is more available than you yourself right let's get down to details now your camera as always uh, I'm not using a DSLR uh, but your camera, I would recommend that your camera have a manual mode because you need to keep your shutter speed, your aperture and your ISO your and your white balance constant because that would help a lot in post-processing because suppose, your, suppose one photograph that you take is a little too bright and another one is a little too dark then that would really mess up your post-processing when you're combining the photos together yeah that's that's basically the technique behind this is that you take multiple photographs and then combine them into one photograph if you don't have one that's fine just use a sturdy uh, sturdy surface like uh, a wall or a table or even a stool that's fine that's uh, a tripod is not an absolute necessity but your camera is and of course your subject is So the subject now is going to be me. Well, let's just get down to it. All right. So I've set up my camera over there, and it's um, I'm going to be sitting and or standing at different locations right over there, and uh, that and then combine those photographs. So let's uh, look at the settings I'm using. All right. So you can see uh, the settings right here. I'm using a shutter speed of 100 of a second and an aperture of 3.4 ISO of uh, 200 I won't go more than that because that will give me a lot of noise now my uh, white balance I've set my white balance to cloudy you could set it to daylight you could uh, no I wouldn't go with tungsten because that would give you blue you could set it to flash but then uh, that would give you a, your colors would be a little unreal so I think uh, Actually, I think I'll go with daylight. So I've set my white balance to daylight. Now, oh yeah, one more thing I forgot is the manual focus. Now let's just manual focus, right? Right over there. That's infinity, and that's perfect. Now you want to keep your 
settings constant because you're gonna be combining your shots later on and suppose just in case your settings are not constant you're gonna have a little bit of a problem with the shadows with the colors and with the exposure in general when you combine the photographs so I'm going to be uh, yeah myself timer setting it to 10 seconds All right and I will be taking the shot all right now for my first shot Now my second shot, I think I'll just do three this time and not waste your time. Alright so we've taken our three shots, now let's go and combine them together and get the final cool effect. So you've got your pictures, you've taken them, you've uh, copied them to your computer and this is where the fun actually starts. So you fire up Photoshop. Now get your pictures, select your pictures and drag them into your Photoshop, wait for them to open. So we're just going to minimize the one in the background. So all you're going to need here is your layer mask and your brush tool. That's basically everything you're going to need, you're not going to really need a lot of things, you're not, it doesn't matter if you don't know a lot of Photoshop, it's really not all that important. So let's maximize that and select this picture as control a or you could go to edit and uh, then select all yeah so control c for copy now let's close this we don't need it now maximize this one and paint it over that uh, sorry paste it over that oh, man. really obsessed with painting for some reason all right so now you see it's pasted as a new layer the picture that we just copied has been it's uh, pasted as a new layer on the uh, on this image now let's turn that off you can see this is the background and uh, this is the one that I just copied and pasted over this so it's uh, we're gonna be basically making the adjustments to this so let's uh, select add a layer mask now this is a white layer mask so you can uh, use a gray or a black brush I uh, prefer black now, now based on your uh, image and based on the number of people you have number of subjects you have in your image you will need varying brush sizes so you can vary the brush sizes by brush size by going here like uh, so you see it uh, dragging this and left or right left decreases it right increases it now I would recommend using it at full hardness that's 100 percent make sure your flow and your opacity are at 100 percent so you get the best results all right so enough talk now one thing i just to make it easier for you i'm going to reduce the opacity of my top layer that is the one that i just pasted so you can see where i have to paint now you see this guy here sitting here is the one i have to put into the picture so i'm going to paint with a black brush now select your layer mask be sure that you've Make sure that you've selected your layer mask and not the layer because if you paint over the layer you'll just get color and you won't get the effect. So select the layer mask and I'll just increase my brush size a bit. Yeah. And paint. There you go. See it's that easy. Nothing else. It's that easy. Now one thing with this is there are no shadows here so nothing to worry about but in case you have shadows don't freak out just zoom in and uh, paint those shadows in. So let's raise the opacity again. Now right click and flatten the image. Now one thing before when you're right clicking don't, don't right click on the layer or the layer mask because you won't get those options. Right click either on the text or on a blank area like this blank area or on the text so you get this dialog box or this uh, drop down menu sorry and uh, select flatten image so that's flattened now copy this uh, select it and then copy it that's control a and then control c let's close this we don't need that and now let's paste it over this image now the reason i'm pasting the one that i've already worked on over the single the one with the single uh, guy is because that will make it a whole lot easier to 
paint just one person rather than to paint in two now you can see all right let's just get to it add layer mask select it and okay I'll just zoom in to make it easier sorry zooming out okay all right sorry the shortcut for zooming in is when you press your control key and your plus key is zooming in control key and your minus key zooms out so I'll just reduce my brush size here and uh, yeah sorry I forgot to change the opacity of this layer okay you see all I have to add is him in so let's go a little higher so you can see him now let's zoom out a little bit so you can see him in entirety all right now paint oh it's that simple there's nothing to worry about it's very easy anybody can do it all right now raise the opacity again and oopsie I keep getting mixed up okay there you see it's perfect and you have your final multiplicity of course now you could add as many people as you want in the frame it doesn't really matter you could have two or two hundred even but the more number of people you have in the frame the more time it will take for you to actually combine all those images together so that's about it right now flatten your image again right click flatten image there you go now you'll want to save your image select your options and uh, click OK and yeah of course don't forget to save your image or this you lose all your work you could save it as a copy that's what I always do so that I don't lose the originals and I uh, hope you could follow through if you can't of course leave a comment with your questions and I will try and get back to you actually I will get back to you okay so that looks pretty good that's perfect and thank you for watching come back for more tutorials